This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the Copper Box Arena for Ryder Sorokin. With me is the new Commonwealth champion, Jordan Gill. Hey, 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 hey. How does that feel, Jordan? Feels good. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. And uh, I'm, fine. I'm happy that we finally got the result. Now, Ryan Dole has always been in competitive fights, but you dominated that from start to finish. How, mm. That is just some statement to send out. Yeah, um, in a fight that everybody thought was fight and night. Everyone ripped, wrote me off. Uh, the boxing news said that yeah, his power edged it. Everyone said, oh, he's going to be too big, too strong, too much pressure, too hard a punch in. And um, today I just showed levels. And I didn't even get out of second gear, but I promise you I did. Jordan, everyone knew you had tremendous set of skills. But that power you showed in tonight, we didn't know about that, you. So, where where have you hit that? I used to live in my back pocket. Uh, <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm not going to do it unless I need to. And tonight, you know, Ryan Doyle is a tough, tough man. Um, he took some armor. He's got a very good chin. I like, hit him clean. And he still didn't want to go down. The referee had to jump in. I mean, um, he's got a hard head. Look at my hands. That was from Let's round get that, in focus. That, that was from like round one, both of them. Both of them are done. Um, so I'm just happy that I finally got him out of there. I had to dig in. I had him rocking and rolling in the fourth. Um, he weren't ready yet, so I had to get back to my boxing and keep picking, keep picking. I knew sooner or later I was going to get him out, and um, I did. Mm. Dave, do you want to jump in and say a few words? Of course he does. Leave it to him. Leave it to him. Leave it to him. You've got a, from a trainer's point of view, though. Mate. You've seen it. That was that was what I wanted from him. It's what I said to you before, and then it exact exactly the same thing. I want him to control the distance. He controlled the pace. You control the distance. You control the pace. It doesn't matter what what Ryan wants to do. I just want him to stay focused, stay relaxed. Don't press that panic button, and and keep picking until he was ready. And you know everything will just just happen for you, rather than trying to go out there and and, and load up. So I'm just proud of him. What a great performance. It's brilliant. Out of 10, what do you give yourself? Uh, I give myself a 7 out of 10, so that's good for me. I'm very critical, I'm very overcritical always. But the reason why is because when I look at boxing, I look at boxing in a different way compared to everybody else. You know, people look at boxers like Ryan Doyle and Reese Blotty going at it. But I don't watch them fighters because I, I wouldn't want to compare to myself to them. I, I look at good fighters like your yeah, Andre Ward and your... Yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard's and your Mayweather's. I'm not saying I'm anywhere near that level because that'd be stupid to say that. But when I watch boxing, that's who I watch because I don't want to be a run of the mill fighter. I want to be a throwback fighter that's like at a high level. And um, this is just the first step on the ladder, uh, the start of the journey. Yeah, it's been a long road to get here. Tonight's my breakout night, and uh, we're going to go and eat some baklava and drink some chocolate <laughs> cakes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good, Jordan. In the show. Um, and you, you feel like you're disappointing everyone, you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Um, you, the hard sessions with no reward like, at all for years on end. And um, you get battered and bruised and knocked down and knocked up and it is hard work. Um, but moment, little moments like this make it worth it. And um, these moments since I've become um, like a more complete fighter under the guidance of Dave Caldwell, getting these opportunities, the, these moments are coming more thick and fast now and they're going to continue to come that way. I've had four fights now this year, back to back, um, with no, no rest in between really. They've been hard camps and uh, my body's ready for a good rest. My hands are ready for some ice and my belly's ready for some baklava and chocolate milk. <laughs> 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 and just lastly, not bad, doing that chief support live on Sky Sports and Design. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure on me tonight because um, a lot of people have been singing my praises because obviously they've seen what I've been doing in the gyms, like going sparring here, there and everywhere, but I've not proven it. So I've not been able to say anything. I've had to stay humble, say, oh yeah, I'm okay. We'll see, we'll see. It's a 50-50 fight, blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> I've just shown you what a 50-50 fight is to me. So um, now we can say, okay, I'm ready. Let's, let's get these titles now. Let's see, see what's next. Let's see what target we can get. And that's down to me, that hard work that I've put in, the hard work that Dave's put in behind the corner, all the gym mates, um, Gary McDonald, Jamie McDonald, Tony Belly, Anthony Fowler, we're working hard every day in the gym. Danny Wilson, Adam Ruddock, Tom, Tommy Monday behind the scenes at Boxing Science. My mum and my dad that are with me every, every step of the way. Um, 
you know, they put everything into me. My dad trained me from an amateur. All them fights, the setbacks, the national finals that we got beat. Uh, how many times before we won, won one? But I think I got beat in four national finals before I even won one. And that just shows you I'm a tough motherfucker. I don't give up. I keep going, I keep going, I keep going until I win. And I haven't been beat as a pro yet, but tonight's I won. And uh, so everybody that doubt me, thank you so much because that's fuel for me. Listen, Jordan, well done. And the new. Um, thank you for talking to IFL TV. Anything you want to add? Um, do you want some baklava and chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay for tonight. Sure. That's all yours. Oh, that's all yours. Jordan, thank once again, well done. I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.